The other day I visited New York City, one of my favorite cities in the world. Unfortunately, everywhere I looked, crime was surging. It was surging in the streets. It was surging in the sheets. It was surging in the sidewalks, in the fucking high rises, coming out the fucking windows. I went to a restaurant, opened up a menu, crime. Went to a museum hoping to see some fine art, some Picasso, some Jackson Pollock. Instead, I look at the fucking walls. Crime! Everywhere! Crime! It's surging! <laughs> you may have heard that crime is surging all across the country. Just fucking everywhere. America is a hellhole, but it's the greatest country on earth, but it's a fucking hellhole. Cities are just uh, devastated. It's all bullshit. Look at what Mayor Bill de Blasio said today after a month of fear-mongering. Are those arrows upside down? I, I'm just a little confused. It looks like crime in June 2021 went down compared to June 2020. But for the past month, all I've been hearing is that crime is going up. It's a historic crime rate. Crime is off the fucking chain, man. And yet, Bill de Blasio says it's going down. It's, it's almost like you can't compare month to month and actually get anything meaningful when it comes to the crime rate. It's like all this fucking hyperbole coming from cops and politicians and the media about Soaring crime and the need for more police was all fucking bullshit and copaganda. All just to take a hit at the Black Lives Matter movement and the movement to defund the police. That's all it is. After a year of these mass protests, there's a little blip in the crime rate for a couple months. And the police are out in full force. See? This is what happens when you defund the police. Except, of course, no one fucking defunded the police. A few places, like New York City, gave a little bit less to the police. New York City moved 1% of the police budget to social services. 1%. And that bar has barely taken effect yet. Most cities actually increased funding to the police over the past year. So maybe I can extrapolate that overfunding of the police leads to more crime. Hmm. Or maybe you just can't compare one year to the next, especially not one month to the next. And you can't compare a fucking year where we had a pandemic to anything else. But you see all this increase uh, uh, of May 2021 to May of 2020. Well, what the fuck was happening in May of 2020 that might have kept crime low? I wonder. And they certainly don't want you to look at the years before that. Historic lows. And so when you're talking about this one or two month increase in crime, you're really comparing it to historic lows. So it went up a little, and now it's back down. Because it's all fucking bullshit. Visit New York, visit your favorite city, and defund the fucking police. The police do not make anything fucking safer.